hell you guys, what's going on? I'm on my, uh, Mistweaver Monk again today, so, I was, uh, I was gonna play this guy today, and I am, it's kinda late, so I'm, kinda need to do a quick video on this one, so, meh, yeah. but I thought I'd do a video at the end of the day, so, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, even though it's pretty late for me right now, and I woke up early for an eye appointment, so I am pretty tired, but, uh, I'll do it anyway, so, um, yeah, I was going to ask you guys if you wanted me to, uh, just delete my rogue, I don't think rogues are doing that well in PvP, at least at the low levels, um, like, if I get CC'd or whatever, or, you know, people can outrun me, I'm just not doing that well, it's, I can't one-hit people all the time, and I know, it's kind of stupid to complain about not being able to one-hit someone, but it's pretty common to be able to one-hit someone, or at least, like, two or three-hit someone, or just kill someone really quickly in low-level PvP. And if you can't one-hit someone or kill someone really quick as a rogue in low-level PvP, there's not much else you can do, and you'll probably get killed if you aren't able to kill them that quickly, because you don't really have any ways of healing yourself. You only have evasion. Which uh, is a nice little, eh, it's a pretty good little defensive cooldown that is fun to pop, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't really have any ways to heal yourself, like if you have a dot on you, that kind of screws you over, because you can't stealth, because if you stealth, the dot will just take and it'll pop you right back out of stealth. And you can't heal up that damage, so if you're going up 1v1 against a priest, that's just healing himself the whole time. You can't interrupt the priest, and he's just gonna dot you to death. You're just gonna die a slow and painful death with his little shadow word pain, or whatever it's called. And he'll just heal himself, and you can't interrupt his heals, and you can't DPS through his shield that quickly, so what can you do? Nothing. I know. Kind of stupid complaining about balancing issues for level level PvP, but I wish they would focus on that a little bit more, since that's not something that uh, Blizzard has really ever focused on, and I think they should make it a little bit more fun and, you know, kind of encourage players to do more low level PvP, because I think it's kind of uh, discouraging if you're just getting killed really, really quickly all the time. And if you don't get, and if you aren't like fond of PvP at a low level, and you're just like starting up a little craft, you might not, you might not try in the future. So, PvP is a pretty decent bit of wow. So, if you start off on a bad foot, you know, you just get pissed off that you can't kill anyone as a rogue or whatever. For example, you might not have, you know, you might not try it again. So. I think Blizzard should work a little bit on the balancing issues. You know, some classes are just way too overpowered, and they can just murder all the other classes really quickly, so. Nah. Uh, just me throwing my two cents out, so. I guess I'll see you guys in a sec. And also, I was wondering what you guys would think about me making a priest with heirlooms. And I would be doing PvP uh, uh, with him. Leveling through PvP and maybe some dungeons here and there to gear me up. Since you can't really get gear at low levels. At really low levels uh, through PvP. So I would, you know, need to do a dungeon every few levels. But I would like to focus on PvP. See how well I would uh, play a priest. You know, you have a lot of CC. You can have some AoE fears at pretty low levels, so... I think it would be pretty fun. I know. I'm admitting it that it wouldn't be based around skill, it'd be more about I have heirlooms, you can't kill me, but it would still be kind of fun to do and try. So yeah, that'd be kind of interesting. Let me guys uh, let me know what you guys think about that and hopefully this queue won't take too long, so I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, hopefully this one will work. Come on, tank. Come on, DPS. Queue up, queue up, queue up. Okay, this one's kind of long, so that's not that great, but whatever. 
That's kind of fun. It's a pretty good random dungeon. Not my favorite, though. And there are a few honestly pretty tough pulls in this in this dungeon if your tank is squishy. So this one could uh, make my life tough. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's go, Mr. Tank. So he has pretty decent gear. His health is a little low. But uh, I think I can I think I can deal with it since it seems that he's doing pretty well with aggro at the moment. Yeah, not many people are taking damage using Chi Wave on cooldown. Also does damage. Always want to use that, it's free, so why the hell not? I'm taking uh Chi Wave over the other two, because it's just I like it more, it seems better to me. Uh, Zen Sphere is a nice little heal over time that you can always have up on your tank if you really want it to, you know, have another awesome heal over time. It's actually not that awesome. It doesn't heal for that much and it doesn't do that much damage, but it has pretty much a 100% uptime if you are spamming it on your tank. So, that's awesome. And it's always dealing a little bit of damage too, so that's always nice. But it's little. It's just a little. I guess you could call it kind of passive healing, since it's pretty much always going to be up on your tank. I like heals that are like big, though. I like bigger heals rather than just constant heals. Okay, so this is a little tough. This tank is taking a bit of damage, and I'm gonna. Oh shit! I just used a life cocoon on him, and it didn't do anything. That's no fun. What the hell? Oh my god, all these guys are freaking immune to all of my build all my heals. That's fun. Yeah, like I said, this dungeon is a little difficult to heal. Not extremely extremely tough, but it's not it could be a little bit easier. So if you're a new healer, this one is going to give you a little bit of trouble. Maybe. You know, it does give me a little bit of trouble, so. This guy is actually really cool transmog. I've never seen that weapon before. I always like it when I see people with transmogs that I've never seen before. There are a lot of transmogs that are cool. But very common, so those aren't as cool. I M O. So yeah, if you guys really do want me to uh, do some disc priest healing, that'll be really fun in my opinion. Low level healing, it seems really, it seems like a good idea to me, and I thought it would be pretty fun to watch too, since I could just go around really kicking people's asses. Even though I understand it's not like a representation of my skill, it's more about a representation of I have heirlooms, it's pretty much impossible to kill me unless you're a rogue and you get really lucky with a crit. Or whatever. I'm not sure what uh, class is best for damage at low levels. Or class spec, I guess I could say. Kind of interesting to see that, though. Maybe a hunter. Hunters seem to be pretty decent at low levels. Hunters are always pretty decent, though. Hunters are never really extremely awful. Yay, ding! That was quick. I was I didn't even realize that I was about to level. I actually don't like that I leveled because then I get all my mana back, and it's like, oh no, I don't have to worry about my mana. 
and I like having to worry about my mana because it makes me helps me learn. Okay, this is a tough fight if your DPS are like this hunter over here and aren't getting out of the fire. So I'm gonna let him die to teach him a lesson. Yeah, I don't know what the hell he thinks he's doing. <laughs> so, there you go, man. You weren't running out. That's what happens. This fight is a little tricky, not anything disgustingly hard, but uh, it's a little bad. Oh man. Nothing for me. Okay, I'm gonna raise this guy. I'm gonna see if I can get anything from this place. Ooh, uh. Yeah, there's a mount that drops. That's pretty awesome. So, yeah, I can't get anything from here. But I can get precious, precious XP. Which is always good enough from me. That round. Okay, let's go. Over this way. Hopefully, the tank didn't pull. Because I'm not even over there yet. Okay, I'm gonna just pop my life cocoon on them. I don't like wasting my mana for this pull. Because there is a bit of damage that goes around. Yeah, I'm really lagging right now. <laughs> That's not fun. Ooh. That's awesome. Some shit trapped. Is this guy getting attacked? No. Come on, tank. Hurry up. Wait, the hunter died? Well, that was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Disc Priests are definitely the best healers at low levels. They're just really awesome. If you're uh, starting out for low level, I would definitely suggest going with um, a Disc Priest. Disc Priests are really easy and they're actually pretty fun too. You can make really, really, really huge, huge shields on yourself that like absorb for a shit ton amount of healing. And you can usually kill some. You, you can usually kill your target in the time span that your shield is up, because your shield does last for a while if your if your target can't deal a shit ton of damage. And also, at low levels, not many classes have interrupts, so you're going to have a lot of heals that, you know, actually do heal you instead of just getting interrupted, which is awesome. Enveloping Mist is an extremely powerful healing ability. It's a really, really awesome hot, so... I'll definitely use it a lot if your uh, target is taking lots and lots of damage. Okay, so I'm gonna use uh, Life Cocoon for this upcoming trash pack, because these guys can deal a lot of damage, and if uh, you like lag or you aren't really paying attention, your tank and your group really can go down really fast. So I think Life Cocoon will definitely help with uh, that damage that is going out. So definitely gonna be using that for next pack. And luckily, Life Cocoon is a really cheap ability, and it's only on a 2 minute cooldown, it's a really powerful ability. 
and um, yeah, I'm grateful that they aren't nerfing it, which they shouldn't, because it's not like overpowered, in my opinion. There we go. I'm not sure if it can be dispelled or anything like that. That would really suck. So yeah, lots of damage going around. I would just spam some AoE heals because pretty much everyone's going to be taking some damage here and there. And I'm going to go ahead and drink some mana tea. Uh, except I'm going to go up to the boss first. If you guys want to know what talent I'm going to be picking, I think I'm going to go with either Chief Torpedo or Invoke Zuen, the White Tiger. Zuen, I would rather go with uh, less compact, and Chief Torpedo, I would go with if uh, there were like a lot of really close together people, so I could just teach Chief Torpedo and hit like a ton of people, which would have greatly, you know, increase its effectiveness. So, if there weren't that many people clumped up together, I would probably use the White Tiger one. I don't think Rushing Jade Wind is going to help me too much. But, you know, I've never used it before. I've never used any of these talents before. I've only had a 190 Monk, and I actually deleted him. I can't remember why I deleted him. And I really regret it. <laughs> Why do I have a skull? Are people trying to kick me or something? I have no idea. I don't do anything wrong. <laughs> it's a little weird. Man, I remember when these trash packs used to be pretty actually pretty difficult. Actually, we had to use crowd control to be able to beat them. Unless we wanted to have a lot of trouble. Wow. This is only a 20 yard range. That's kind of sad. But now these trash packs are actually pretty easy. The trash is some of the hardest. Is uh, the hardest stuff about this. And since, in my opinion. Or it used to be. It's pretty easy for me now. But uh, in Cataclysm, when I didn't have all these awesome heirlooms, um, that scaled up with me. You know, after level 80. My gear wasn't as good, so I was having a little bit more trouble. And I think monks are really good at healing. So, and I really, I really like them. And I think I'm, I think I know uh, how to play them pretty well. At least I think so. <laughs> we'll see if it changes in Raid. In Raid Finder. Hopefully it won't. But you never know. You never know. And again, I think I said this last video, but... Charging Ox Wave actually does kind of help you heal in some ways. It makes it so your uh, enemies are unable to deal damage, which is kind of like healing in a way. It's preventing damage. So. It's nice if you are uh, able to use that on cooldown, but I'm not because I'm uh, hard for me to pay attention and talk at the same time. That might just be me, but... Uh, Whatever. So these, this pack is somewhat easy. They don't do a shit ton of damage, but they're not easy as pie. None of these packs are easy as pie. None, I mean, none of them are like crazy difficult, but there's some that are a little harder than the rest. So we are almost done with this one, with this dungeon, and this is all I'm going to be able to do for this video, sorry about that.
but I'm really tired. It's past midnight, and I had to wake up early today. So, I am really in no position to do much more than this. I'm going to go to bed soon, so, sorry. I might not do a video tomorrow. I got some shit to do. We'll see. It's likely that I won't, though. Um, I will be leveling up this priest if anyone wants to see me level him up. You know, tell my opinions on him. And uh, my opinions on the disc priest at lower levels. Go ahead and tell me in the comments. If not, I will probably not be posting videos of him leveling. Mainly just, um, doing PvP shit. But we'll see. Sometimes people like me to, you know, do videos of leveling and shit like that. Usually, I don't like to watch people level, because they kind of just go off on shit and uh, talk about their lives or whatever and shit like that. In my opinion, I don't like it when um, channels do that, because I came to the video to you know, watch World of Warcraft and shit, and then come to listen to someone talk about a whole bunch of pointless stuff that doesn't really affect me at all. So, I usually try not to do that kind of content in my videos, but sometimes it does kind of come out. I usually try to make my videos informative, hopefully that is working out somewhat well, at least. And if it's not, I will try to improve, but... I think it's working out pretty well. I'm liking the content I'm putting out right now. I could do a little bit more editing or whatever like that, like adding music in the background, but uh, for now I think that's not mandatory. My channel is still small, and yeah, maybe when I get 50 or whatever people watching my videos consistently, I will start, you know, actually caring a little bit more about the quality of my videos, but for now, not enough people are really seeing it to make it worth that effort. I know that might make me. Oh my god, we're gonna wipe. Come on, tank, you're retarded. Let's see, he would have died, and he's still fucking being a dumbass. Oh great. Teehee. Dumbass, you're gonna make me wipe. Oh, wow. Well. Our DPS is really good, I guess. GG. Guys, that was pretty sick. We murdered those guys. <laughs> okay. That was pretty good. That was a really good group. No complaints there. And we got through there in pretty good time, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Disc Priest video is coming soon. Um, I kind of feel like playing on my human Disc Priest was a little boring, because I didn't have heirlooms, and the leveling was a little bit slower than I would have liked. So I think I'm going to just get a heirloom to Priest. Because I already have all the heirlooms I need for a Clothy, so might as well just make a Priest. I don't, I'm not having fun on my rogue. Uh, I made a video saying how easy it was, and really it's not that easy. Because we kind of get our asses kicked. Sometimes. You know, especially if you're going against, like, a geared healer. We're not going to have too much fun. I'm not talking about end game content, I'm talking about low level content. A lot of my videos are about low level content, I don't do a shit ton of stuff about max level other than like my rating videos or whatever, but uh, yeah, usually if I'm talking about something I'm talking about low level. Since I do make a shit ton of alts, I know a thing or two about low level, at least I hope I do. So, thank you guys for watching this video, hopefully this was fun enough, sorry it was a kind of a short video, but I'm tired, I want to go to bed, and yeah, I am lazy. So, thank you guys for watching, hopefully this was fun, and I'll be seeing you guys next video. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, I have some stuff to do, we'll see. Thanks for watching, yeah.